purpose of this video is to talk about the optical to USB cable assembly referred to as model number OC4USB. Historically, we've had two versions of the cable. Today, we're offering the Rev2, which you'll see on the, uh, the cable here. If you don't have the Rev2 cable, I would highly suggest you purchase a new one because the first revision does not have a Windows 7 driver, which would be supported today. Um, today, I'm going to go ahead and plug this cable into the computer to show you how the device manager updates to let you know if the drivers are or not installed. If you have internet access, it's best to um, look in the device manager. You can see here, there will have other devices noted, meaning that the computer recognized the cable being connected, but the drivers were not acknowledged. Um, I've already installed the drivers for ease of um, time, so the driver is automatically installed. It'll, it'll be noted here as USB serial port COM19. The software that this cable uses, which would be the Scope Meter 120 series and the 43B power quality analyzer. The 120 series consists of the 123, the 124, and the 125. Um, the problem with this COM19 reference is that the Fluke software program, FlukeView scope meter software and the power quality analyzer, it needs to have COM port 8 or smaller. So this example will show you how to change the COM port to something smaller. You simply double click on the item, you get a ports property uh, management window, you go up to port settings to click on it, and then you click on advanced. And then you'll see the COM19 reference here. There's a drop down. It's common for COM2 to be available, not assigned anything. In this example, it shows up that way. COM2 is not in use. So you say OK to that. The device manager will update, refresh, and now it shows COM2, and it's available to work. The place that I got the driver uh, doesn't happen to be um, available on the Fluke webpage at the time of this video, but it is on a webpage that the chip inside the cable uses called ftdichip.com. And on the left si side of the webpage, there is a driver, and the VCP driver is the one you want. You click on that, and it refreshes the page. And then down here, it talks about the operating system. 64-bit, 24, 32-bit, excuse me. And I highly suggest going over here and clicking on the Setup Executable. This file folder over here is just simply the, the, the folders with the files in it, and this is an executable. It's much easier to use. And you just simply click on it and then install it. Straightforward stuff. And uh, that pretty much concludes the, uh, the video. The idea is to get the drivers installed for the OC4 USB Rev2 cable to work with your scope meters and the power quality editors. Thank you.